Picture this, a jet with open blades slicing the air, wingtips folding like a bird, a whisper-quiet engine promising to rewrite aviation's future. Everyone's talking about it, everyone's searching for it, yet officially it doesn't exist. Despite billions in R&D, one of the world's biggest aircraft makers denies it's building the plane the entire industry is obsessed with. The rumors are so detailed they have specs, renderings, even patents. Airbus executives smile politely when asked, shake their heads, insist there's no such project. This is the Airbus A360. The plane Airbus swears isn't real, but might secretly define the next generation of flight. If true, it could dethrone Boeing 787 and rewrite Airbus's future. If false, it exposes how desperate the industry is for a miracle. Either way, the stakes couldn't be higher. This is about revolution versus illusion. To understand how a rumor like this could upend the world's biggest aerospace rivalry, we have to go inside Airbus and inside the silence. It started in the shadows of aviation forums, where the obsessed gather to decode the future. Late nights analyzing patent filings, blurry photos from factory floors. Then someone noticed it, the missing number that would launch a thousand theories. Airbus jumped from A350 to A380, leaving a gap that would become aviation's most tantalizing mystery. The name A360 first appeared after the A350 entered service in the mid-2000s. Forum threads exploded with speculation. Why skip those numbers? Were they being held for something revolutionary? Then came Airbus's 2025 Innovation Summit in Toulouse. Executives revealed design ideas for a next-gen single-aisle jet, aiming for 20 to 30% fuel burn reduction. They called it aviation's fourth revolution in sustainability. Sketches leaked, composites rumored, whispers from Toulouse hangars spread like wildfire. The aviation world world started connecting dots Airbus never drew. Here's where it gets fascinating. Patent filings started appearing, advanced wing designs, new engine mounting configurations. Each filing was scrubbed of project names, but the aviation community saw a pattern emerging. Something big was being built, piece by piece in plain sight. For the first time in two decades, Airbus isn't ahead. It's trapped by its own success. The A320 Neo family is aging. A 330 Neo sales are slowing. Boeing's 7 787 dominates long haul. The stagnation is suffocating. Think about what this means. Every jet flying today is a masterpiece from yesterday. The next one must be built for a world that no longer tolerates carbon. Airlines demand 30% lower emissions. Governments mandate net zero timelines. Environmental regulations tighten like a noose. The industry that once symbolized human progress now symbolizes excess. But here's the brutal paradox. Airbus has an enormous backlog of around 8,700 100 jets, roughly 10 years worth of output. That's nearly a decade of work before they can even think about something new. Supply chain choke points strangle expansion, engine makers can't keep up, factory capacity is maxed out. This is why the world wants an A360. Even if Airbus won't admit it exists, every piece sounds impossible until you realize Airbus is already testing each one separately. It reads like science fiction, yet every part is rooted in real Airbus labs. Start with the CFM Rise open fan engine. Picture exposed blades, looking more like a sophisticated turboprop than a traditional turbofan. The heavy nacelle gone. The result is an ultra-high bypass ratio of 60 to 1, compared to 10 to 1 in today's jets. CFM is targeting 20% fuel savings by 2035. Airbus has committed to flight testing this revolutionary engine on a modified A380 testbed by decade's end. The challenges are real. Open rotors allow Louder. Exposed blades create vibrations, but Airbus engineers call it quite revolutionary. Perhaps the biggest leap in propulsion since high-bypass turbofans. If they make it work, it changes everything. Then there's the composite revolution. The A360 rumors suggest a full composite airframe using next-generation materials. Airbus is exploring thermoplastic composites that can be manufactured faster and recycled. Imagine an aircraft weighing 15% less while being stronger. Longer. That translates directly to fuel savings. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. The Wing of Tomorrow program is developing folding wingtips for ultra-high aspect ratio wings. Longer, thinner wings dramatically reduce drag. The problem? They won't fit at airport gates. The solution? Folding wingtips that extend in flight but retract on the ground. Airbus executives confirmed their next narrow body will likely have longer, thinner wings with foldable tips. They're exploring morphing control surfaces 
flaps that seamlessly change shape for optimal aerodynamics, natural laminar flow could reduce drag by another 10%. Combined, you're looking at 25% fuel burn reduction. Digital revolution extends to AI-assisted pilot systems, automatic taxi using electric motors, hybrid electric systems for ground operations, even hydrogen readiness, designing architecture for future fuel cells. Each technology, a puzzle piece. Together, they form the A360's silhouette, even if Airbus refuses to name it. Cut to reality, Airbus leadership calls its next plane evolutionary, not revolutionary. CEO Guillaume Fauré states, We're not there yet. Watch the contradiction unfold. Airbus tests every element of a revolutionary plane while publicly rejecting revolution. Press conferences become exercises in careful denial. Polite laughter when A360 is mentioned. There will be a significant step forward, Fauré explained, but maybe not revolutionary. Then adds almost winking, even if an open rotor, in my view, is quite revolutionary. The irony is thick. This company once bet everything on the A380. So ambitious it required airports to redesign facilities. That gamble failed, teaching Airbus about overpromising. Now they've swung to underpromising while potentially over-delivering. Back in 2018, an Airbus spokesperson stated, there are currently no Airbus A360, A370 or A390 programs underway. That statement gets reiterated, labeling the A360 as pure speculation, but actions speak louder. Airbus recently delayed its hydrogen aircraft plans. Fauré admitted they didn't want a Concorde of hydrogen, impressive but commercially unviable. Instead, resources refocus on nearer-term technologies. Technologies sounding suspiciously like A360 rumors. Maybe the greatest innovation isn't what Airbus is building, but how it's hiding it. Both giants circle the same future, each pretending not to move first. Boeing's new mid-size aircraft rumors mirror the A360 story. The tension is palpable. Think about Boeing's position still recovering from the 737 MAX crisis. The 777X years late, billions over budget. They need a win, but can't afford mistakes. Is the A360 real? Should Boeing accelerate their program, or is Airbus bluffing? Analysts believe whoever blinks first locks in dominance until 2050. Aircraft programs take decades. Today's decisions shape aviation for generations. The A360 rumor becomes a weapon. Airbus's secrecy forces Boeing to stall strategize doubt. Fauré hinted that once one manufacturer moves toward a new single aisle, the other follows immediately. He called it a gloves-off competition. The rumor becomes psychological warfare. Every Airbus patent sends Boeing scrambling. Neither side can afford to be caught flat-footed. Think Airbus can just launch tomorrow? Here's the brutal truth. The A320 Neo backlog of 9,000 aircraft represents a decade of production. Airlines paid deposits, planned fleet renewals, around these deliveries. At current rates climbing toward 75 monthly by 2027, Airbus needs until mid-2030s just clearing existing orders. Supply chains are maxed. Engine manufacturers struggle meeting current demand. The semiconductor shortage hits aviation too. Labor shortages compound problems. Skilled aerospace workers take years to train. Factory capacity is exhausted. Each expansion costs billions. This company is trapped by success, choosing between fulfilling promises or building tomorrow's risk. Innovation takes courage, but it also takes bandwidth, and Airbus has none. Or do they? But technologies keep advancing regardless. The CFM Rise demonstrator exceeded targets in 2023. Airbus will flight test an open fan on their A380 testbed by decade's end. They're not just testing engines but integration, aerodynamics, noise, vibration. Every flight brings certification closer. Advanced composites get stronger longer in Airbus labs. Thermoplastic research could revolutionize manufacturing. Fuselage sections produced in hours, not days. The wing of tomorrow produces physical prototypes, full-scale sections with folding mechanisms and advanced controls. Engineers speak of wings that breathe, adjusting shape real-time. Digital systems advance rapidly. Airbus's autonomous flight project successfully demonstrated fully automated operations. The technology exists. It needs integration and certification. It's not that the A360 exists, it's that Airbus might be building it without naming it. Every demonstration, every patent, could be pieces of a larger puzzle. So why does this rumor matter? In silence, imagination fills voids, and imagination moves markets. Stock prices fluctuate
update on A360 speculation, airlines delay fleet decisions waiting for the next thing. For millions of enthusiasts, the A360 represents hope, the next Concord moment. In an industry without revolution for decades, the human need for progress drives speculation. We want aviation's best days ahead. The A360 embodies these hopes. Patent analysis becomes obsession. Every filing dissected for clues. The A360 becomes aviation's Rorschach test. Everyone sees what they need. What if denial is the strategy? Airbus gains advantages keeping the A360 shadowed, keeps investors calm, buys time maturing technologies, lets Airbus spy on Boeing's moves, compare past patterns. The A350 once denied while Boeing pushed the 787. Then Airbus launched the A350 XWB, incorporating lessons from Boeing's struggles. The A380 kept secret for years. Even the A320neo initially downplayed before becoming history's fastest-selling aircraft. Airbus mastered strategic silence. By denying A360 explicitly, they lower expectations, then surprise everyone with a different named product when ready. Every denial might mean getting closer, because in aviation, what's denied today takes flight tomorrow. Either the A360 is aviation's most elaborate myth, or the 21st century's best-kept secret. Both possibilities equally powerful, one showing desperation for change, the other capacity for transformation. Click here to check out our other videos.